Great to have you on the programme. Welcome to you. Um, what are the chances of securing this vote of confidence? Well, for now, the chances are quite high. Um, against all odds, Mishishi was able to um, secure a lot of support in the last few days. Um, and actually, um, the positions of the different political parties and the different political players changed radically in, um, in the last three days, I would say. So uh, now I think there are high chances that um, the government will get um, the necessary vote. At least we, we're talking about around 127 votes so far um, over the needed 109. But it will be a weak um, government because it uh, will lack a lot of support um, and also because of uh, there is uh, also because there is little homogeneity among the members of this government. So um, even though the government will probably pass today, but um, the question is for how long? And uh, if he doesn't get that vote of confidence, how does Tunisia move forward? The situation today is actually the result of the um, of the elections of the late of late 2019. Um, there was a hung parliament with uh, no majority for anyone. So um, what the country went through since the election of this parliament and of the of the current president um, is a series of uh, misunderstandings and disagreements among the different political players and the, the different political parties. Um, and that led to a number of um, not successful governments being uh, either voted out or voted in for a brief period. Um, now we're talking, uh, Meshishi is actually the third appointed prime minister in, since the beginning of the year. Um, and this is actually affecting, first of all, the way politics uh, is done in the country and also affecting the functioning of the different institutions, the public uh, institutions mainly, and in a, in a period where you have the threat of COVID-19, where you have um, the country's worst and the world's worst economic crisis um, in decades, um, you have all this together and then this very divided government and very weak government. So um, the, the, it, it will play very negatively on the economics of, uh, on the economy of Tunisia. And how does this affect the people in Tunisia caught up in the middle of this uh, political turmoil uh, since 2011 and also a pandemic? So, of course, it's making people more and more uh, um, angry about politics and um, feeling uh, not represented by politicians. Um, it makes, um, it adds to the popular anger. We've seen several demonstrations in the last few months. We've seen um, people uh, closing streets and burning uh, tires in streets. Um, and uh, I think we'll see more of this because, uh, as I said, the economic crisis is uh, worsening and, um, um, and because the new government will not be able to fix anything. Um, and um, um, we, so we will see more and more of these um, social troubles in the country um, and um, less and less people um, interested or, um, or willing to participate in, um, in the democratic process. Yusuf Cherif, live for us there from Tunis. We appreciate your analysis. Thank you so much.